Okay then, in this video we will discuss raster layers in Leaflet. First of all, let's quickly discuss what raster layers are. Well, raster layers are images like PNG or JPEG. For instance, in here I have a base map. So this base map is raster data. So how do I know that this one is a raster data? That's because if you go to network and then if you zoom in, for instance, or zoom out, so this leaflet application is making a request to the server and then getting these PNG images. So, and I would like to point out that particularly this base map is raster data, but not all base maps are raster data because base map can also be in the form of vector data. So I will explain vector data in a minute. So for now, just please understand that raster layers are images like like PNG or JPEG and they are, they can be generated on the server like in this in our case in our base map so um, tiles or small images are being generated on the server and now we are consuming them or can be static images so that means we can have a static image and then we can overlay it for instance on top of this base map so and we usually do not style raster layers so we just consume them in the browser all right so let's see this raster layer in the example so let's go to the official documentation of the leaflet so here we have a section called raster layers so we have tile layer tile layer wms web map service and that's a ogc service we'll discuss uh, this one in detail so then image overlay and video overlay so we'll discuss all of them later on except this one image overlay because this one we will discuss right now image overlay all right so let's click on that so image overlay allows you to overlay or display a static image on top of the on top of your base map all right so on top of base map or on top of it can be for instance your base map if it's a uh, something non-standard map it can be on top of that non-standard map so it doesn't matter so you just overlay it on top of the um yeah base map so let's have a look how to use that so if you would like to display a static image on top of base map what you need to do is you first need to specify or you need to provide the location to the static image which is this one and then you need to provide the boundary to that static image so the boundary would be two corners two opposite corners or diagonal of the image all right so then you need to create an instance of the l dot image overlay class and in that case you first need to specify url image url and then image boundary and then you need to add it to the map so there in here they're adding it directly to the map but in our case we can we can add this one as an overlay and then we can include that in the in our uh, layer control so we can uh, turn it on and off so let's get started with this so for that we'll first do we'll get an image so for that um, I think the easiest would be just to um, so, so we'll just clip a small portion of this base map and then we just overlay it on top of the open street map so because this one is in black and this one is not in black so it's going to be very obvious to see that overlay so let's do that for that let's first cut a small piece of this base map for that I'll be using a tool call it snipping tool in here snipping tool so that's available in Windows I think similar tools should be available in Mac operating system if you are using uh, Mac so now what I will do is I'll just clip this corner all right so now I have this image so I need to save it so I'll just click save as and then I need to specify where I need to save it so in my case it's gonna be leaflet folder and then in here um, let's create a new folder called data and then right in here I will just write Perth image so by the way this place is in Australia so this area Western Australia so 
uh, now we have our image what we need to do is we need to get the boundary and then display it so for that let's go to our code so let's go to main.js and before we start coding let's add in some comments uh, just to make sure that we don't get confused HTML element and these ones are um, base maps so then this one is leaflet map object so then these ones would be base map object then this one layer control so layer control and I don't know why I made it in here plural so let's make it singular because we have only one layer control not controls so now let's do the overlay so the overlay will be I think somewhere here right after this base map so let's create the overlays overlays so then what we need to do is we need to create a variable so we'll create the variable call it Perth base map image you can call it whatever you like then we need to specify a URL to the, our static image so our static image is stored in here so we can just copy relative pass and then just pass it in here so but instead of this backward uh, slash we need to make it forward slash and since so you see main.js and then we have data right so we just need this dot so now we are re we have referred to our uh, static image now we need to get uh, image boundary right so because I can just sh I'll show you one more time so here we did this now we need to do this one so we need to get the boundary of the image so how shall we do that so to do that uh, there are several ways to do that the easiest one would be by using click event so like whenever there is a click just give me the coordinates of that click so I'll show you how to do it in practice so I'll write my map on whenever there is a click so and then I will write a function and then here I'll say console log e so that means whenever this whenever there is a click pass that the resulting event in here as a parameter and then we're just ac accessing that result in here in other words event so you can write for instance event so e stands for event that's a common uh, usage of uh, functions in here with uh, with uh, events so uh, now let's do that so now let's go and let's check this so whenever there is a click it's now just giving us this event click event and in click event we have latitude and longitude as you can see so we can grab this one we can copy property pass or we can just write latin lng so event oh, sorry event dot and then lat long so now this click event gives us latitude and longitude for the click at point so now what we need to do is we need to go to Perth again so here so one corner was this and the other corner is this it doesn't matter it can be as long as it's just two opposite corners that would be fine so in my case I'll use this and then this so for the first one I'll just copy this and I'll create a variable because we need to store it so I'll call this variable Perth base map bounds const Perth by the way Perth is a city name all right so base map bounds so then we need to open a an array and then inside this array we need two separate arrays again so one for the first corner and the second for the second corner so that would be first corner I'll just do this and then I'll just copy the second one 
so I'll just place it in here so like this so we have now two corners so then we need to create we need to create an uh, instance of the l dot image overlay and then pass on our you know base image and then you know boundary and that's it so let's do that so for that we first of all create a variable const it's not necessary to create a variable for this but I like variables because as I said before you can access them later on or image overlay that's fine I think so l dot or we can say image perth overlay so l image overlay and then first would be this our static image the second one would be boundary and then we can say hey add it to my map that's it so let's check so if I refresh and probably we can change the center to Australia to here as you can see it now displayed this one nicely so uh, there is a small discrepancy because probably I was zoomed in or something like that so or you know like because I was zoomed in and probably click it a little bit below this line so that's why it it had it offset a little bit down so <clears throat> but that's not um, that's not very um, that's minor things so don't worry about this so now as you can see we're just adding this we have added this one as an overlay on top of the base map but what can we do is uh, we can add this one overlay in here and then we can turn it on and off so in other words we can add this overlay into our control so let's do that so for that what we need to do is we need to create so we don't need this one anymore okay we can keep this one uh, because we can change the center so for now let, what, what shall we do is we create a overlay object like we did previously for the base map like this and then we pass on that one to layer control so let's do that so const overlay okay over layers uh, base layers because and this one would be over overlay layers or overlay layers okay overlay overlay layers so now so it's gonna be an object and then we'll write first for key or a title Perth image then variable in this case it's gonna be this and then we don't need this add to my map anymore because we don't want to add it in here instead we want to make it you know like t we should be able to turn it on and off and we don't I don't want this one to be on by default so that's why um, so we just grab this and then instead of empty object we just use this overlay layers so now if we go to let's change the center as well basically uh, so, uh, uh, so let's do this and we'll just put in here so it's gonna be very close to that area so and we can delete this one because we don't need this one anymore so we got overlays and then here would be overlay object so now let's check here we go so we have Perth image and if I turn it on it's in here and by default it's off so if you want this one by default to be on you just add this one here uh, add to you just do that one my map you just keep it and then if you just refresh it it's on all right so that's how we overlay static images in leaflet so that's it regarding this video and I will see you in the next one.